So if you know me, you know same as a madman still. And I've got into this mad habit of when I see a pair of trainers I like, instead of buying one pair of trainers, them, man will always cop two pairs minimum, maybe even three. So um, I think that comes from basically a little while back. I've done it a couple of times and that man's bought a pair of trainers, like them. But then obviously after a while and that they get a bit scuffed and mashed up and you can't wear them like that. And I've regretted not buying two pairs minimum. So from now on, whenever I see a pair of trainers that I like and that I usually buy two pairs, maybe three in it. I can't show you actually. So this is one pair here, one there, next pair there, next pair there, literally like man's got a next fresh pair in a box in the next room, I think I'm down to like this is my last pair of these ones. So all the trainers them that you see are all ZX 750s, I'm just, man love them. Got a few of these LA trainers as well. Adidas and that. Let's see if we got some more. Oh, I know, I know I got some more. What am I talking about? Let's see. All of these air, you know. All of these Adidas, them. ZX 750s, ZX 750s, ZX 750s, ZX 750s. Man's a madman. Man's got bare different pairs and same colours and that. You get me? Anyway, the whole point of this video, let me switch the camera. So the whole point of this video is because I was looking at these trainers. I just unboxed them, I was looking at the trainers. And it took me back to a conversation that I had with the man then. And I just thought to myself, you know what, yeah, this is the reason why you have to just move on from certain friendships and that. Certain man, you're literally going to outgrow them. Like their mind has not grown in the last five, ten years. So anyway, there was a time when I was planning to do a speech at my old school, Winchmore. And um, yeah, I spoke to the people there at Winchmore and they said it would be a good idea for me to come in and do a speech and yeah, like, help inspire the young people and that. So man used to always practice my speech and that, whatever, innit? And um, when I see a few of the man them, my master told them like, yo, I'm going to be going back to my school to give a speech to the year 11s and that. Get me? I'm not going to bother speak to the year 7s and year 8s. They'll be like, oh yeah, nice and inspiring and that and forget me next week in it. So I'm going to speak to the, the last year of the school in it. Forget the sixth formers and that. Speak to the last year of the school, the year 11s then. So chatting to one of the man them and I said, yo, I'm going to be going down to my school it never happened, <laughs> just to let you know. But I'm going to be going down to my school to give a speech to the year 11s and that. And man asked me, what are you going to be wearing? I said, fam, I'm going to wear a black t-shirt and some jeans and a pair of Adidas trainers. Them ones there, like the ZX750s, the black ones, isn't it? And man was saying, nah, fam, you need to go wearing Balmain, Balenciaga. You need to wear Dior trainers and that. I said, what for, blood? A man said to me, fam, the youths, them ain't going to take you seriously if you're not drippy, drippy. I was like, you know what? If they used to make willing to take me seriously because I ain't drippy drippy, then you know what? Fuck them. They're lost. They've been set up to fail. Obviously, if I look like a Ross Clark dork, some neek, man's got some mad milk bottle glasses and some tough, you get me some thick uh, moustache and that. I look like I ain't washed, ain't bathed in two, three weeks. I look like a neek. Obviously, I don't expect them to take man seriously. But as long as man look clean and fresh, and don't get too sad, I ain't going to get no haircut for no use. They're supposed to be listening to what man say. Even you lot watching my thing, blood. I don't even, you know what, yeah? When you lot are watching, you lot should even be watching, furthermore. You lot should just be listening. I don't, that's why I don't care about getting 4K, 5K, 6K camera. And I fuck all that bullshit, blood. You think I care about getting a, a nice camera with, with sick resolution? Like, what for? My words should be inspiration for the man. Then the man shouldn't even need to look at my face. Just put me down on the side, doing whatever they're doing. A man left a comment underneath one of my videos the other day saying that, yeah, I listen to you in the morning on my way to work and that. More than likely, a man's just got me in his pocket. 
words of wisdom. You don't need. There's a lot of YouTubers and that to keep a man hooked, to inspire a man, to make a man. You get me? Uh, not lose his attention and that. He needs to have all these fucking smoke mirrors, fucking fireworks and that. Girls in the background, all them things, their blood. If that's why a man's watching me, fam, I don't even want a man to watch me, blood. If a you, if a young person is only gonna listen to me because uh, I, I'm I'm wearing Dior trainers and Balmain jeans and a Balenciaga t-shirt, then fuck them, man. I, you know what? You're lost. You're lost. You're lost. More than likely, their parents is a fool as well. It just reminds me as well. Imagine, yeah, man had a te uh, teacher in it, and he's gone on to become a head teacher now. In it, so when I, when man was in school, I had a, a teacher in it. He's gone on to become a head teacher now, in it. So man got in contact with him. I got him on my my Facebook and that, in it. So I hit him up and I said to him, look, obviously he knows I got a YouTube channel and that. Uh, get me? Are you willing to allow me to come into your school? To give a speech and that Because he's the head teacher isn't it? So yeah, He's in the most authority He should be the person That's going to say yeah. yeah He don't need to go to no one Or whatever isn't it? it was during lockdown Yeah During the COVID thing And that Also he used to them Was still going to school So I asked him Like yeah Looking to do a speech And that When he inspired The year 11s Rare 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 hoo, hoo, hoo. You know what his response was Oh obviously you know It's during lockdown And that So it's going to be tight to get people into the school and that, you know, it's going to be tight to get guests and visitors into the school and that, so I'll have to let you know and that, innit? And I thought, this fucking pussy, blood, like, and certain man will watch it, it's like, blood, why are you moving sour and that? I'm not moving sour, fam, do you know what it is? See, man, this is why I'm such a wise man, blood, because I always think about other alternative realities. So one of my former teachers is now a head teacher, innit? So he is the top boss in that school. He can make and he can make the decision whether someone enters the school or not. It's it's all up to him, innit? I've asked him to go into the school to give a speech to inspire the youths and that, and he's giving me some bullshit excuse about oh, um, you know, COVID and guests and you know, oh, two meter distance and all that bullshit, innit? Something I watch this, I think man's being sour. I'm not being sour and that because I guarantee you. If we switch the reality, if, if I give you an alternative reality, if I change the rascal up variable, if, imagine if I was Drake, imagine if Drake hit him up and said to him, yo, I want to give a speech to the youths then. At exactly the same time that I proposed to give a speech to the youths then. Do you think he would have said yes or no? He would have said fucking yes, blood. So, man, not sour because that man said, oh, and I'm not sour in it, but. Get me. I, I, I see what it is, isn't it? Um I'm I'm not being sour or nothing, nothing like that. I'm just seeing it for what it is. And I don't know if fucking Drake hit him up at the same time as me and said, yo, I wanna give him I wanna give a speech to the youths and that he would jump on it. But you get me, at the moment, at the moment, at the moment, at the moment, man's not that big at the moment, but you get me. One day man will be in it, yeah, but I just find it funny that like people don't want to fuck with you until you're 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 really big and that it's like I don't really rate shit like that, innit? You see like all these little I see I see all these little podcasts and that and now and then I'll leave like a I'll see a podcast and that that only gets five hundred views in the, in a year and that. So small podcast, just a man and a gal talking. Yeah? And I'll leave a comment, they'll be talking about whatever, innit? Yeah, oh, black people can't succeed. And I'll leave a comment and that. And these people, they, they will see it and they will like it and that. They will love, love heart it, whatever in it, yeah. And I think to myself, like, I'll be the perfect guest for them to come on. You get me? Because I'm defying the odds and that. I'm not with this narrative about, oh, you know, if you're a black man, it's going to be twice as hard and that. And I think to myself, see, these lot will see me. They'll probably watch the video or two, but they don't want to bring man on, which is cool, innit? But just don't holler at man when man's big in it, yeah? When man's really important and that, and you get me doing the rounds and that, see man on TV, on the news and that, debating with, you get me, serious people and that. Don't hit me up, blood. Same teacher that become a head teacher now, innit? Yeah, don't hit me up, fam. Because when I was down, you didn't want to know, man. And now man's up, you want to know, man? Nah, fam. Me, even like in my personal life and that. I observe and I'm taking notes on who the people them that hit me up, yeah, 
occasionally or frequently or whatever in here. Who are the people them that hit me up? If my man become big, people start hitting me up out of nowhere. No, go suck your mum. Family members, cousins and that, go suck your mum, blood. Don't hit me up, blood. Because you didn't know, man. You didn't want to know, man, when man was down, innit? But when man's up, that's when you want to know, man. Go suck your mum, blood. Go suck your mum, innit? Yeah. Just remember, the last time you saw me was 10 years ago. Keep it that way, fam, innit? But, um, yeah, back to the original point and that. You are literally going to outgrow certain man. I've had conversations with man. And man are talking about... So, I used to go to this um, little meeting thing. Uh, black people there in, in Northampton, innit? They basically want to work on a project and that. And I said to a brother one time, the reason why they want to have me on board and that, because man's the youngest on the team and that, the reason why they want to have man on board and that, because obviously man's got properties and that, they're older people and that, they will automatically respect that a man's got two properties. At the time, I only had two, now I've got three. They will automatically respect that a man's got two properties and that. Um... As opposed to if a man had the AP or Rolex watching that, they won't respect that. Do you know what a man said to me? He said, yeah, I hear what you're saying that, you know, older black people and that will respect you automatically because you've got two free properties and that. But that's just them. There are going to be some people that are going to respect people that have an AP or Rolex watch. And you know when you hear something, you just think, fam, you know like when you just feel like you're outgrowing a man and that, you're like, fam, yeah, we ain't on the same page and that, but, but like, you're still living that urban, fictitious, um, foolish lifestyle and that, that pretentious lifestyle. It's just dumb, blood. Just dumb, man. But literally, on the way to the top and that, when you become it successful, I've spoken about it before, you're going to have to suppress your success. It's lonely at the top. You're going to outgrow people. People are going to start hating on you and that. People are going to think that you think you're better than them. Just because you're, you're you're doing well for yourself and get me like obviously you can see why people will, will think that like will, will think that um I think I'm better than them or start hating on man and that because man you get me man man talks this thing on the internet and that but there's some people they move in silence and that, and they still have people hating on it but yeah the reason why I'm upstairs right now is because my girl's actually um working downstairs she's on a work call and that's so i thought yeah let me just make this video literally i was just looking at the trainers and that and i, I just remember i just took me back to a time when i had that conversation with a man and they're talking about yeah where 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 dior trainers and that just to get me captivated you man, man listen motherfucker listen to the words i'm saying if that, that if that's not enough to inspire you if i'm telling you that i'm doing well for myself just believe man in it and obviously seeing is believing in that, but there's a lot of fake people that, listen, like I say all the time, the brokest people wear the nicest clothes. There's man out here wearing Balenciagas. There's man out here driving a Range Rover, living in a fucking bed sit, blood. For real, blood. There's man out here driving a Range Rover with no fixed abode. You know, they don't have a real place to live. They're just living in a hostel, living in a bed sit, blood. But they got to have that Range Rover, innit? they got they got to show the world that they're doing well when they're not. Boy, I remember having certain conversations with man. And I remember a couple of years ago during lockdown and that, man was going to start buying up and selling cars. I did buy two cars and I had to sell them both at a loss. So I bought the cars on auction and that, and things didn't work out too well, innit? But that's me, innit? Like, man will try something new and that, innit? Get me? Think outside the box. So I remember telling a couple, man, yeah, man's got trade plates. I was buying cars from auction and selling them on. And like I said, you start outgrowing, man. Certain men are still trapped in the ends. Certain men, they need to just think legit. Like, like, I don't know what else to say. So I'm telling man that I'm buying cars and selling them, yeah? I'm buying them through auction and selling them. Do you know what man are telling me to do? Now, forget buying, selling, buying cars on auction and selling them. What you need to do is... Buy a car on finance or take out like a Mercedes. Have two, three on the go though, innit? Yeah, so maybe buy a Mercedes, a uh, Volkswagen Golf and a next car, innit? Yeah, have two, three cars on the go. You're financing them. Let's say, for example, your monthly payments for that car is £300. What you want to do is start renting them out, which is cool. Because I thought about doing a rental game as well. The only thing is, obviously, you're going to get into problems with people when they damage the car and that. And me, I'm a man. I'll just turn it into a beef thing and that. So, um... Deposit or not, for, again, I'll just turn it into a beef thing. So anyway, a man's telling me, yeah, buy, take out cars on finance 
and rent them out. That's cool. So you can finance a car for £300 a month, but then you might make 1000 200 a month renting it out. That's cool. But then a man had to add something and I'm thinking, nah, this is bullshit. Man's talking about, yeah, I know bare people. Like, trust me, the people that you want to be renting out your cars and that is man that do F, man that do fraud. I'm thinking, blood, man's trying to get away from man that's not indulging in legit activities and that. I want to get away from man that's doing madness and foolishness and that. Why do I want... You think I'm going to base my whole business on man that do fraud? You think I want to base my whole business on man that are indulging in illegal activity and that? Like, yeah, the first part of the plan was good, yeah. Finance a car for £300 a month. Obviously, insurances and shit like that. Special insurance for people, obviously, because they're renting your car and that. That's cool. But then the second part of the plan, what? I'm, I'm not going to base my business... On man that do fraud? What are you talking about? Yeah, you got, yeah, the best customers are man that do F. You think I want illegal money coming into my bank? I'm thinking to myself, blood, these men are... So that man are still trapped in their ends, blood. Literally. It's a madness, blood. Yeah. Um, just up here right now making this video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna done the video. What are you saying? Should we go downstairs and just quickly spy on Nadia? Yeah, see what she's up to, yeah? All right, come, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, if you was wondering what language she was speaking, she speaks Polish, she's half Polish and that, innit? So, yeah, that's it. Stay wise, done, no. <laughs>